on our training course on the macronutrient calculators that allow you to do client formulations literally in minutes as opposed to doing them longhand. So first accessing the calculator, you're gonna to go to macromissionary.com, go into login, type in your username and password to log in, and this is gonna give you access to your back office. We're gonna start with the basic calculator, and you're gonna use this calculator probably, there's really no reason not to use this for every client. Uh, I'll get into some of the features of the advanced calculator, but this is the, this calculator is generally what, uh, what we would suggest using. All right, so from here, it's very plug and play. So I'll just take you through my formulation. So 41 years old, male, we're gonna use the Imperial system. Getting accurate height and weight, the calculator is only as good as the inputs, so very important. So 5.8, and 190. You're typically gonna use the athlete's formula for majority of your people. The lean mass formula requires a body fat percent. And unless you have an accurate body fat percent, uh, then you're gonna to wanna to use the athlete's formula. All right, so how to describe the normal daily activities. So we're gonna fill that in for our client. Now it's gonna ask how many days a week the client exercises. This is very important. So for example, I work out five days a week and this is active minutes. How many minutes per day do you exercise? They're asking for active minutes, so talking, um, going, you know, going to get a drink from the fountain or whatnot would not be considered active minutes. So my normal workout is about 45 minutes, and I would say about 30 of those is actual activity. Then it's going to go a step further, so very in depth. Uh, so I love about our calculator is how intense is the exercise. Now remember, most clients tend to over exaggerate their intensity, uh, so you want to make sure that you get uh, asked the right follow up questions and use the client intake form to make sure that you can gauge the exercise intensity accurately. Okay, so once all that is filled in, you're gonna hit calculate your total daily energy expenditure and it's gonna give you your BMR and total daily energy expenditure. This would, so this would be my maintenance calories well, based off the data that I put in. So from here, if fat loss is the goal, so you see you have the fat loss column here, you can go suggested, that's gonna be a 15% of uh, reduction in calories, aggressive would be 20% or very aggressive would be 25%. We can also custom fill in, so if I just wanted to say one pound of fat loss per week, I could just subtract 500 from 2,339. So I can do that as well. So that would be 1839, okay? So you can d definitely use the custom as well if you would like. Then you have your lean gain. So this is gonna be 5% above maintenance, 10% above maintenance, and then aggressive would be 15% above maintenance for clients that are looking to gain weight. The next part is gonna be, so I'm just gonna do fat loss here for me, by the way. All right, the next part is gonna be uh, the macronutrients themselves. So we know, we know from our certification that it's really protein that is key and then total calories on a weekly average. Um, but most people are gonna need a protein, carbohydrate, fat to enter in whatever tracking app or if they're using our tracking app um, so that they can plug those macros in. All right, <clears throat> so we're pretty much normally gonna do uh, the custom. You could do RDAs, it's gonna be the government RDA, so pre-built in there. Uh, Bodybuilder is gonna be a 40, 40, 20. Uh, you know from our certification, we're not a big fan of percent-based diets, so we kind of just have these as a feature. Uh, you do have a keto option, uh, or if you want to do percentage base, you can enter your own percentage in as well. Uh, in as well. But we're normally going to do custom. All right, so for custom, I'm just going to go around the palate of myself. I kind of enjoy protein, so I'm going to go 1.15 grams. And I'm going to set my fat, and I'm going to keep it right there at 0.4. Again, this really doesn't matter um, because I'm just tracking calories on a weekly average. So I'll hit calculate. And then from here, I'm just gonna kind of take a look. So obviously that's way more protein than I need, um, but that kind of, that, that fits my palate. I enjoy eating protein, it's thermogenic, it helps me control hunger, fits my lifestyle well. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and run with. Now, if for, so, for some reason you do have a client that is, maybe they're getting ready for sport or whatnot, and they are tracking 
their uh, fat and carbs and not just total calories. There's very, very few circumstances where they would need to do that. Um, then you can manipulate that carb number by bringing your fat down. So for example, if I went fat <clears throat> down to say 0.2 and then calculate, you see that's gonna up my carbs and definitely take that fat down. All right. So that is your standard macro calculator. The advanced calculator, and again, there's very, very few to, to really no clients that you're ever gonna really need this level of in-depth. Um, but for people like myself that are just kind of nerdy, we can definitely go with this one. All right, so this advanced calculator, I'll take you through a few of the features. So again, so the metrics, we're just gonna go ahead and plug them in. But, um, I'm 5'8", so 68, 190 pounds. All right, it's gonna auto-calculate my weight in kilograms. Now here, and this is one of the pluses, but also a little minus. So here you have to have a body fat percent. And again, if you're entering in a body fat percent that isn't accurate, um, then it's gonna throw off the numbers. Now, the BMI body fat percent here is tends to be off by about 5%. So about 5%, we find it to be pretty accurate. So it tends to be 5% high. So I'm gonna show you how to use the BMI percent. Uh, I don't personally know what uh, my body fat percent would be at this moment. So I'm gonna use the BMI estimation. First, I'm gonna enter in my age. Got the weight in there already. All right. So I'm gonna go BMI percent, I'm gonna subtract 5% from that and that's gonna be 22. Uh, that's probably grossly high estimation for me because it is based off of BMI and I tend to have a little bit more muscle mass um, being a competitive bodybuilder. So you're gonna wanna watch that as you see your client's pictures. So for percent, I'm actually gonna really, really lower that to 12%, all right? Yep. So the percent will go here. And then the goal percent. So if your client is in a lean gain or wants to gain weight, you're gonna put a goal percent that's higher than the body fat percent so that it gives them more calories. If they're trying to lose fat, you're gonna put the goal percent down to what it is. So let's say that I wanna get very lean. I wanna get down to say 7%. Then from there, we're gonna put the days to my goal. So we'll say I wanna get to 7% in 90 days. And you can see it's here, it's telling me how many weeks that is. And it's also calculating my goal pound, so what weight I would be projected to be at at 7% body fat, which here is 180 pounds. And again, that relies on this number here being accurate, my uh, current body fat percent. All right, so then I'm gonna go to my fat factor. The fat factor is basically percentage of total calories from fat. We already talked about that's really not all that uh, important because we're just talk, um, tracking total calories. But I'm going to set that at 30%. And it's going to ask for muscle factor. So the muscle factor is going to be between 0.55 and 0.59. So someone with extremely high level muscle mass, like a Mr. Universe, is going to be 0.59. You're not going to see very many drug-free people that you're going to use that coefficient for. Myself, being a drug-free bodybuilder, I would just be a 0.56. Okay, so most of your clients are just gonna be 0.55 on that muscle factor. All right, then from here, I'm just gonna recheck all of my inputs. Okay, protein factor. So the protein factor is different than what you learned in the certification manual because on this calculator, it's going to estimate my actual muscle pounds, not lean body weight, but my actual muscle pounds. One of the cool things about this calculator and my protein factor is gonna go based off of that. So you're gonna to wanna to go between 1.5 to 2.5 if you're using this calculator. So I have, again, a pretty high protein, so I'm gonna go with 2.25. And it's just gonna give you some additional metrics, okay? Um, percent loss desire, pounds of fat to lose. So that's kind of cool. Like if I go from 12 to 7%, how many pounds of actual fat do I need to lose? Okay, here's total daily energy expenditure, BMR. 
All right, and the recommended calories, 1861. So that is to get me from this percent body fat to this percent, so 12 to 7% in this time. So here's where some of the art is gonna come into play. 1861, for me, that, that's really low calories. So if I were formulating this for myself, I would probably maybe increase my, day, uh, my time to maybe 120 days. And you can see that will increase my calories because I'm giving myself more time. Or another thing that I can do is say, well, you know, maybe I don't wanna get that you know, maybe I'll go to 9%, okay? So you can see that's gonna increase my calories because I'm not getting as lean, okay? Glycogen saturation capacity, that's basically if your client was completely depleted of carbohydrates, uh, both their liver and muscle, how much carbohydrate they can store. So that could be useful if you're like carb loading an athlete or something along those lines. But other than that, it's just kind of just data uh, for you to have. And typically, this is going to be correlated with how much muscle they have. The more muscle they have, the higher their glycogen saturation is going to be. DRI, I just pro uh, programmed in there so you, you would know what the bare minimum protein uh, intake is. So 69 grams. All right. And then here is going to be my macronutrient distribution. So again, the protein is going to come based off my protein factor here and the fat is gonna go off my fat factor, okay? And remember, the muscle factor um, will, also, will also come into play uh, with that protein number. All right, so that is your advanced calculator. Another feature that it has is PTFEF, protein thermogenic effect of food. So that's basically saying that of these 210 grams of protein, I'm gonna lose about 168 calories just through digestion. So if you had someone that's a very, very advanced meticulous tracker, you would be able to give them 168 more calories per day because of the thermogenic effect of protein. So that would be, it calculates for you 42 grams of carbs or 18.7 or call it 19 grams of fat extra added on top of their macronutrient distribution. So we would just add those total calories to make it nice and simple. All right, hopefully this is helpful for you. Go ahead and let us know if you have any questions on this. If you want us to take you through any client formulations while you're doing them, uh, and definitely always continue to ask questions. We are absolutely here to help.